Hey guys, welcome back to the show today. And today I'm going to be talking about certifications. I'm going to dive a little bit deeper into certifications so that you better understand what you're getting into before you pay for that certification as a PTA. Now, certifications, let's talk about what you do actually get and what you're going to need as a PTA to be able to go solo and become a solo provider. Now, certifications are a dime of a dozen these days, and all of them seem very appealing. Most of them are very cheap and inexpensive to get. So in this episode, I want to break down what you can expect to get from a certification and what you're going to need to go and do to become a solo provider as a PTA. So there's so many cheap and easy certifications that you can earn these days. You can become a personal trainer, a health coach, wellness coach, yoga instructor, Thai massage therapist, functional medicine specialist. This is just a few of the different certifications that you can go out for. When you search certifications, there are a plethora of those that can actually teach you a different skill that you don't have right now. And all of these certifications are going to offer you a way to work solo with clients. But what they don't offer you after the certification is the step-by-step process of how you're going to build your business as a PTA without risking your professional license and how you're going to be able to earn the type of money that you want to earn. So a certification is going to offer you the ability to learn a new skill, like I said, and you're going to be able to utilize this new skill to help clients improve in health, wellness, and fitness. But how are you going to attract your customers? How are you going to retain those customers? How are you going to keep them long term? And so many more questions are going to come up that when you start a practice, it's not just about seeing that client and treating them for you know, personal training or stretching or whatever. Now, I have spoken at length with personal trainers, PTs, massage therapists, and other practitioners that have spent thousands of dollars on new certifications. And every single one of these professionals were all seeking to step away from their current clinical jobs or just change the profession that they were in with a goal to start a side hustle in hopes of building that to a full-time hustle. And oftentimes, by the time I speak with these professionals, they're actually frustrated with the side gig because it just never lifted off. Let's break it down a little bit. The number one problem in this equation is business. Business foundations are going to be key to you starting a practice that is legal and that is aligned with your actual license. Now, one thing that you can do right now is start studying up on different business things. Number one thing is what are you gonna need as a PTA to be covered legally? Number two is calling your state board and looking into, hey, if I get this personal training certification, is it going to align with my current license Or is there a huge gray area that really doesn't help me understand if I am going to be able to get professional liability insurance or not? You're going to need forms. You're going to need to set standards and boundaries and policies. So many things that you're going to need for business foundations. And you can look into getting books to learn a little bit more about business right now. But really, you need something that is going to propel you personally. And a lot of those books that you read are going to give you, you know, some advice here, some advice there. I've read them all, so I can tell you about most of them. All of them are great and help me to grow personally. However, you know, if you can get something that walks you through the process, it's just going to be less time consuming and less money for you. You want to look into your target market. And the first question that you're going to have to ask yourself here is, who can I help? Who is going to be the target person that I know that I can help and that I'm going to do the best job in helping them? So asking, you know, yourself first, who you want to be able to help is going to be a start before you do your target market research. And the other thing, you need to figure out who your ideal client is. Your ideal client is that person that you want to work with and you know that you can support them through achieving their goals. Number three is creating a service. You're going to want to ask yourself, what will I offer this customer? And then after you do that, you're going to want to do some market research and you're wanting to know in this market research if your area is going to support 
your service offering that you're trying to offer right now. So if that's personal training, how are you going to differentiate yourself from an average personal trainer that doesn't have a PTA license? And just know that just because you have a PTA license, you bring skill to the table. That person loves the fact that you went to school for physical therapy. So you're going to get those clients that are looking for a more skilled clinician. But if it's not in alignment with your license, you could actually be at risk for malpractice. And, and you just want to make sure that you do your market research, see if your market is going to support the service that you're delivering. And if you're a PTA delivering a personal training service, that is not a PT service. So you've got to define that. There's a lot that goes into that market research component. Now, the next thing you're going to need to do is price that service. And you're going to need to figure out how much you can charge for that service. And then you're going to have to look at market research to see what your market will actually pay for the service that you're going to be providing. And as a PTA, if you're going to do more than personal training or yoga, then you need to know how much somebody is willing to pay for the service you're going to offer them. And then the next question on that topic there, you're going to have to ask, what value does my service actually provide my consumer? So you're going to want to break that down a little bit. I know that all of you are saying, I'm really good at what I provide to a customer. And yes, I believe you are. But until you really dig deep into some of these problems that your customers are facing, you're not going to be able to give value to people because in the field of physical therapy, we're taught how to modify, how to do ergonomics, how to keep people out of pain, but we're not taught how to prevent pain and keep pain away for life. So you really, really want to dig deep into this service offering, do some market research, find out what value your service is going to provide, look into how you're going to price it, what is that service going to be that you're going to be offering, find your ideal client and your target market. And those areas in business are going to be very instrumental in starting a successful business. Now, the next thing thing that people typically don't have when they're starting a business and they're going at it alone is systems. And systems are required and knowledge in marketing is required to be able to generate a lead into your business. And some of the areas that you're going to need to look into when you're looking into starting your own business. And this is where most of my clients fail that go and get a quick, cheap, easy certification because all you really want to do is treat a client. So most of you don't even look into lead generation and where you're going to get your clients from. You don't, you throw a website up, you put yourself out there, you tell your friends and family, but you really need a better way and some systems to do stuff that will be consistent so that you can take your side gig and turn it into a full-time gig. And one of the areas is lead generation. You're going to need to know where you're going to get your customers from. And you need to research that before you decide to go into business for yourself because you're going to feel stuck and you're going to feel like you don't know where you get your customers from and you're going to want to beg, steal customers when really lead generation should be all about strategy and finding where they're at and where they shop, where they eat, what they do, and things like that. You're going to need to ask yourself if you're going to need a website or not. And then what is the typical cost of that website going to be? And if you're going to go at it alone, guys, um, and many of you will, it's some startups start their website and it takes them a few months to six months or so to really get a website up and going and filled with good information that are helpful for consumers. I actually remember my very first website that I did. It took me about a year to build it and I had help building it on the technical side. And boy, I got a lot of visitors to that website. It was awesome. I think I got two to 3,000 people that would visit the website a month. But my big problem was that I gave them all the information and they didn't feel the need to go past the website and hit that book button. So there's a lot of strategy behind building a website. And when we first start out and we don't know a lot about it, we can waste a lot of time and time that we could spend actually treating a client, just wasting it on building a website. You're going to need to ask yourself, how do I build my authority and get people to trust me? 
This is a big area. Just posting on social media, some of the things that I see that people are posting on social media, we really just post, hey, I want you to buy my new service because my new service is the greatest and I just want you to buy my service, buy my service, buy my service. And so many PTAs go out and they go, I don't know why I'm not getting people to follow me. But then you go and you search their social media profiles and all they do is say, buy, 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 buy for me, buy for me, buy for me. When a consumer's looking for advice and looking for a reason to follow you and you need to give them a reason to follow you and trust you. Another thing that you're gonna need a system for is you're gonna need to know how to nurture a person to arrive in your health and wellness bottle. Guys, if a person is not in pain and it's just something they wanna do, health and wellness is really not the first thing that they wanna do. And there's so many services out there that are so darn good for them to choose that are already established. It's gonna be hard for you to stand out as an authority figure if you don't already have what your service is and all of those things we just talked about. So building authority and getting people to trust you and then nurturing them to actually arrive for a health and wellness visit is going to be a struggle when you start up. And that system needs to be refined and you really need to understand how to take a client who says, oh man, that sounds really good and it's like something I want. And then you're gonna need to know how to take them from that to showing up in your clinic and paying you for the service. And then the next thing you're really gonna need to know about systems is when they get into your clinic, what are you gonna need at that point? How do you greet them? What do they get in their consult? What does the consult look like? And then you're gonna to have to close a sale. So in the consult, if you're a PTA, what are you gonna do? Are you gonna stretch them a few times? Are there gonna be any basic tests and measures? You know, what are you gonna do on arrival day that's going to show them that they do have a program? And then how are you gonna create urgency so that they do sign up for your program today and pay you? Another area in this systems area is closing your sale. What is your promise gonna to be to your client and what are you gonna prescribe? And what are you going to guarantee that they're gonna get from seeing you that if they walk across the street and see the Cairo that, that they won't get? The next system that you're gonna to need to have is a client retention system. You're gonna to need to know what your process is to not lose a client after you've seen them for the first three sessions. And guys, some of you might sell a package of five or eight. That's wonderful. You just made that big pocket of money. However, how are you gonna keep this client coming and how are you gonna resell them again after that eight visit? What does that process look like? Lastly is a membership. What way can you support your clients long-term so that they are dedicated to you and they stay with you? And then what does that programming look like and how is it different from your initial client lead generation, arrival, and program programming? These are all areas that we teach our PTA business owners in the PTA Business Owner Accelerator Program. Now, this program that I offer is a business in a box for PTAs. And if you know where to start and you know where you're headed, then the chances of you being successful and getting to that first $10,000 and then growing past that $10,000 is going to be the key. Now, for those of you who don't know where to start and don't have the answers to all of these questions and you want a proven path to be able to achieve $10,000 in your first month in business, then schedule a call with me. During this call, I'm gonna walk you through what the process of all of this looks like and what it takes to successfully grow your business to a 10K business in the very first month in business. I'm gonna put a link to that call session, that discovery call below. So click on that link and schedule your call today. And thanks guys for joining me. I hope you found this information helpful. And if you did, please like and subscribe to the show so that you can get my latest episodes. And if this information was useful for you, please consider providing a five-star review for me again. Thank you so much for joining me. I appreciate it.